Hi guys and welcome to part 12 of Skyrim Mod Sanctuary. Now in my last video I mentioned that I was doing an assassin playthrough and I want to talk about some mods that have really made that a lot more fun. And I'm going to start with a mod called Jasus Swords. Now the swords in Skyrim for me are quite big. They're, they're okay and they're very suitable for hack and slash type characters. Um, but they were a little bit brutal for what I had in mind for this character. I have see this character as a bit of a duelist, a bit of a swashbuckler, a sort of thin, long sword in one hand, um, thrust, parry, uh, run people through, etc. I don't see him as a sort of chop people up with a big broadsword. And the game doesn't really have many of that type of sword in it. However, Jace's Swords adds so many new weapons you just bound to find something for your needs, and I did. I found several swords that were absolutely brilliant. Um, there is, there are some nice two-handed swords. Some really, they're very elegant. They're very stylish, even though they're two-handed. They somehow look a lot more elegant than the in-game ones. There's Japanese-style swords. There are European-style swords, and my personal favourite is a sword called the Shiavona, which is like very much a sort of fencer's sword by the looks of things. Um, and just in general, there are such a variety that you are bound to find something you like. Even if you like very ornate swords, he's added loads with special handles, special hilts, uh, made with either gold or silver jewels. I think there are even some with dragon bone handles. Uh, and, and so on, silver lining, etc. You, you look at the ingredients when you craft them. Some of them are really quite intricate. Some of the recipes are actually quite large, which is great because it makes the weapons feel special. Now, you won't find the weapons on NPCs, which is unfortunate, but hopefully once the creation kit comes out, the mod author will add some of these weapons to certain NPCs, which will make things, you know, shake things up a little. But this is just now one of my must-have mods. Um, it doesn't matter what playthrough I'm doing, whether it be a mage or a warrior, I love these weapons. The models are superb, the textures are very detailed and high quality, and the variety is just brilliant. I'm, I'm just amazed at so many different types of weapons. This is a top quality mod, probably one of the, the best quality mods I have seen for Skyrim yet. Um, this one is definitely one of my highly recommended mods, so give it a shot, guys. And as I mentioned earlier, I, I've been playing a more sort of one-handed style, but without anything in the left hand. Uh, although it, now <laughs> I've actually started using a torch because I'm using the realistic lighting mod. I've started using the torch to block and bash people, which sets them on fire, which is pretty cool, actually. But... Every now and again, you get in a fight where you really think to yourself, oh, I really wish I had an actual shield. The, you know, you, you just want that extra bit of protection. Or if, you, if you're on the block uh, perk tree, there are a couple of the perks that only work if you have a shield, like the elemental resistance one. And you think, God, I wish I had one. But the shields are so big and so ugly, you just you really don't want to use them. You just feel completely out of character. And that's where this next mod comes in. Now that mod is called Bucklers. And fairly simply, it allows you to make buckler shields. Now, buckler shields are very small shields, basically. About half the diameter of normal shields. They're obviously less protection. They are lighter. Um, but they still act um, as a lot better shields than, say, a torch. Um, now, for example, you can make dwarven bucklers. They're... Pretty much the same as the Dwarfen Shield, um, but obviously a lot smaller. There is a heavy version of it. It's still a lot smaller, but thicker. So that's for heavy armor users. Orcish Buckler, and so on. Now, these Buckler Shields uh, basically use the same model as the normal shields, um, except reduced in size. They've all been turned 90 degrees as well, so that they, they look better. I'll show you in a second how they look in-game. Oh, and my personal favourite, the Ebony Buckler, which looks brilliant and, of course, is black, so it suits my cliché um, assassin. There's a heavy version of it if, you're, if you like the Buckler Shield, but you're a heavy armour user as well. Now, my heavy armour is absolutely terrible, so don't trust the, um, the armour rating on these, uh, these two items. 
Um, there is also, you can also create the light ebony shield. Now it's the same size as the ebony shield, only it's, it's not quite as thick. It doesn't have as much material, so it's lighter and less armor rated. But if you are using light armor skill, maybe you want that instead. So, we've seen how to make it, you've seen the stats, but the most important thing, how does it look? Well, in-game, as you can see, it's, it's pretty cool. It gives you the sort of feeling of having a shield and having some protection, but at the same time, it's pretty small. It's pretty easy to imagine being able to sneak with it, um, and I think it goes really well with light armor. I mean, the ebony buckler goes really well with nightingale armor or the shrouded armor, etc. I think it's very, very in character for me. I'm a big fan of this now. I, I take my ebony buckler everywhere. Um, and if you have the Daedric Smithing perk, you can even make the Daedric version of this. And it looks pretty cool, although personally I still prefer the Ebony one. But this mod actually does even more. If you have got the Spellbreaker shield um, from the quest, and you love the effect, but you hate the way it looks, this mod has got something for you. It lets you make a Buckler of Winterhold, which basically is a very small uh, black shield that has the same effect. It has the ward. Um, there's also a light version and a heavy version. Now, they do require soul gem fragments, one of each type, so it's fairly hard to get all the ingredients, but it's worth it. Because not only is it uh, a very cool-looking buckler shield, to be honest, um, it is also a very powerful shield. For though, If you've got the shield already, um, the Spellbreaker shield, you know it's a powerful shield with 50 point ward. Um, and the effect looks very cool as well. Plus, for me, the shield's the right colours. They're sort of dark grey, so this I love. Now, I don't actually have it myself properly. I had to cheat to get the spell gem fragments. Please don't ask me where to find them. I have no idea. Um, they're probably dotted all around. you probably found several of them. I know I found a few and sold them. Um, but you need those to get this um, shield. So start saving them up if you find them. Now the next mod is quite a simple one and it's called Arrowsmith. And not surprisingly, it allows you to use your smithing skill to make arrows, which is perfectly reasonable. Um, I think this is something that should have been in the game from the start. Um, and if you've got the correct perk, you can make whichever arrows you've got a perk for, orcish, glass, etc. Um, you can even make the Daedric um, arrows if you have the perk. Now, I, I prefer ebony arrows, and now I can make a couple of hundred of those, and I can dump all the rest of my arrows and use the cool black ones. Brilliant mod, dead simple, dead easy to install as well, so no reason not to. This is one of those things should always have been in the game. And the last mod I'm going to cover is the Better Archery Eagle Eye perk. Now, if you use Marksman like I do, you might find the Eagle Eye, it really doesn't zoom in very much, and it doesn't allow you to figure out what you're shooting at. Um, with this perk, I can actually sort of see who I'm shooting at and get a good idea that I'm actually shooting an enemy rather than a friend. Um, it, is, it is quite powerful. It's not realistic before anyone says, you know, you, you are zooming in. Um, but it does simulate the idea that your character does have far better distance vision. Which, that's what the perk's supposed to give you. Um, it does make sh uh, zooming in when you're at close range a little bit more disturbing. You'll find if you've been using the eagle eye to shoot people who are only about 10 meters away, it becomes a little harder. The zoom process takes a tiny bit longer and the uh, enemy tends to fill your screen a bit more. You also lose a lot of your peripheral vision, so if there's things moving around on the side, you don't notice them. So there is a trade-off, actually. But in general, it is actually a lot more powerful perk with this, with this mod. You will be using Eagle Eye, not just to shoot people at range, but to identify targets. And that's it, really. Uh, very simple, very useful. Now, the four mods I've shown you in this video are all very easy to install. There is nothing complicated about them, and you can install them with the Nexus Mod Manager with no fuss whatsoever. So I'm not going to show you that. Um, and so, basically, that's the end of this video. 
I hope to see you guys for the next episode and remember to click the like button if you enjoyed this video and as always until next time have fun